So I'm currently behind the wheel of the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser, and I'm going to showcase the interior of this thing. So let's get to it. So like normal, from left to right, starting on the left, you've got three driver presets that you can set for based on your seating position. You've got window switches, door locks, your door latch. Hidden right down low, you've got different lighting options, your parking sensors, a button to fold the um, side mirrors in, and then the controls for the side mirrors. There's also latches for the gas cap down there. And the trunk. I mean, the hood. And moving to the gauge cluster, so you've got temps on the left, you've got voltage and your fuel gauge on the right. Big in the middle, you've got your tack on the left and your speedometer on the right. And then you have a nice middle um, information screen. You can uh, cycle between different options. I usually stay on the information screen, but then there's also a car, infer like a more detailed on what the vehicle's doing. So tire pressure, um, oil mileage, what the, the wheels are doing at the current time. There's a navigation screen. There's the, what auto, audio you're listening to, sensors, messages, and some settings, but I usually leave it on this screen, just cycle through some details like eco indicator I don't ever use. Usually leave it on that miles per gallon. You have a sway warning. Shows you your current miles per gallon, the range. I usually leave it right here. And right in the middle, you can see what gear you're in. Moving back, giving you a look at the steering wheel. How I was selecting that is this little knob here, so flipping it down cycles up and down through each screen and going left right gets you in the different option optional screens so over on the left you've got volume control different modes your phone buttons over on the right you've got different pages and these are the sensors and lane assist buttons as well right behind the steering wheel is your cruise control options hidden behind the steering wheel kind of out of focus there's a collision sensor button um, you can turn the power door off or you can also hit the latch from down here your start button over here on the right you've got a nice big navigation screen going to the home screen you can tell you it has a compass what music you're listening to your average average miles per gallon and your current range but you know this is what the nav screen looks like audio just if you're looking at satellite radio it's kind of dated but it works so i'm not complaining um, you got your hazard button right there in the middle behind um, this little glass is just shows you what temperature you're on the time the outside temperature you have a nice little cd tray slot right here this is where you control your temperature your climate control buttons are all in the middle right here Going a bit lower, you've got the power to the music and volume control on the left, the tuner and the scroll option on the right, as well as other media buttons in the middle. Right here is a hidden little slot, which has the maps, um, USB, I mean, uh, sorry, the little SD card slot right there. Right here is a nice little hidden cubby hole with a button like Toyota's like I love where it turns on a charging pad and there's also the old school what I call smoke smokers port so you can charge your phone and what have you coming away from that you have a heated steering wheel button uh, ventilated seats heated seats there are three options for them and there's also behind the gear lever for the passenger as well on the passenger side you've got a nice little USB port and a little headphone port jack if you'd like that as well. <laughs> Taking a step back from that, you've got your four-wheel drive settings. So you got four low and four high. Coming a little bit farther back from that, you have a nice little um, button that kind of helps the turning radius of the vehicle. You've got a hill um, climb button if you'd like that. And this is the mode, uh, the kind of an off-road mode select where it goes from crawl to mountainous. It's got five different options on that sliding left from that you got you can turn off uh, 
disconnect differential, there's a traction control button, this button starts the vehicle in second gear if you're on ice or in a slippery situation, and this button kind of um, puts all the power, it's kind of, if you want to power through a situation, some mountainous area, or you're kind of stuck and you just want to power through something, you push this button, and it kind of gives you a lot of power at that moment. Um, you got the normal gear lever, so you got park, reverse, neutral, and drive. And once you're in drive, you kick it over and you're in S mode. And you can select gears as you wish. In a SUV as big as a Land Cruiser, you don't expect to see a nice manual handbrake or emergency brake. But you get one in this vehicle. You get two cup holders and you can kind of lock cups or whatever you want in here as you will want I usually put my phone here and then slide this over and it kind of locks it nice in it in the middle you get this nice cubby hole system so this is the first layer opens another layer and then you can pull a little tray out and then it is very deep Over on the passenger side, you have a glove box, accessible by button right there. Give you a look at the passenger side, get you a look at the seats. Second row. Features a sunroof. And all the sunroof controls are right above the driver. Give you a more detailed look at the interior. But that is pretty much the interior of the Toyota Land Cruiser. If there's anything you thought I missed, let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching.